they've all come to witness a sight so extraordinary. Some would even say terrifying. The monstrous 7.8 magnitude earthquake split the land in the village of Tepehan in two. An olive grove now divided by this new canyon, roughly 130 feet deep and more than 900 feet long. This area lies on the eastern Anatolian fault line that shook Turkey, and you can see how powerful it was. Geologists we've spoken to say that this is not unusual. They describe this as rock mass failure, but they say that this is not something they have seen in their lifetime. These men from a nearby village tell us everyone is scared. They all now sleep outside. No one was hurt in this village in the mountains, only a short drive from the devastated city of Antakya. Here, like many other villages in the area, the damage is also limited. But its impact has been overwhelming. I thought it was the apocalypse. The sky ruptured, the ground cracked. You have nowhere to run, Ilhan tells us. I have grandchildren. I hug them, and I think if we're going to die, we should be together. Ilhan and his family, more than 40, he says, have been living out here under this makeshift tarp shelter. They need a tent, he tells us, but no tents or aid have made it to this village. There are too many hard-hit areas in need of urgent aid in one massive earthquake zone, and getting that aid out is a Herculean effort. Injerlik Air Base has become an around-the-clock hub for these aid deliveries. These Turkish, American and Polish troops work together to get basic and life-saving supplies out. Choppers here are constantly on the go. This chopper has just been dispatched to the outskirts of the city of Antakya. They're carrying baby food, warm children's clothes, blankets, tents and much more of this desperately needed aid. It's a quick landing here. People have to rush to grab what they've been waiting for for days. Our house collapsed and we had no tents, this man says. I lost eight nephews. We asked for a tent, food and underwear. God bless you. You've made us so happy. Help can't come soon enough for those who lost everything, left with nothing in an instant. Jumana Karache, CNN, Hatay Province, Turkey.